Every time I get more evidence that the bloodliners and their knights who work alongside them are doing the enemy's work, I'm going to make a video about it because I'm trying hard to establish a pattern of these people and we're in a spiritual war and it really seems like they've also declared a literal war on us also so fighting back this uh, video will be about Salvador Dali and I looked into him after a commenter mentioned that he was involved with the rehabilitation of the Orsini Monster Park near Rome um, or what Orsini had called the Sacred Wood and Sacred Woods should sound familiar from the Golden Bow and Lake Nimi, which is also very close to Rome. And here um, is one of Salvador Dali's drawings, signed from 1972. And I really think this guy fits in with our theme of the Nephilim types on this channel. He's definitely in the club. It's a picture of a bat. And... I'm not sure if this is a female or a male, but it has a sexual connotation. Just gross. And here he is at the Monster Park. That's him. And at that Monster Park, they have this same type of ele elephant, which inspired some of his paintings. And um, this guy is just a satanic sicko. But of course, he's a Knight of the Crown educated at the Royal Academy. Um, it says his full name is Salvador Domingo Felipe Jacinto Dali. I dominate. And he is Marquis of Dali of Pubal. So he's a Marquis, which is an imperial, royal, noble, gentry, chivalric rank in Europe. And he's got all these awards. Grand Cross of the Order of Isabella the Catholic, Associate Member of the Royal Academy of Science, Academy of Beaux Arts, Grand Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Charles III, who is the last, who is the last king I think in that um, genealogy of Lord of the Ring, Realm of the Ring Lords, maybe, and the first Marquis Dali of Pubal. He was granted that by King Juan Carlos. And Juan Carlos is the former king of Spain who murdered his brother by shooting him in the face when they were teens, and whose son, Felipe, is currently holding the King of Jerusalem title. Says he was a Spanish surrealist um, artist known for his technical skill, precise draftsmanship, and striking and bizarre images in his work. <coughs> And for him, somehow, they, they make a lot of connections. They've written a lot about him here. They make connections to both World War One and World War II, um, which just tells me that he was an illustrator or propagandist of sorts for the Satanic Wars. And this one is titled uh, Geopoliticus Child Watching the Birth of the New Man. Lots of his um, eggs in his work re representing the new man. This one is called the Hallucinogenic Toreador. Of course, he's into psychedelics, which is obvious, but isn't that a common theme in these people? Because that's a quick way to add demons to a person. Another element of his work is sacred geometry. And, um... That is, sacred geometry is a theme we see in the occult in Freemasonry. It's one of the seven sacred sciences. It says the, the rhinoceros horns that he uses proliferate his work and signify divine geometry because it grows in a logarithmic spiral. And he linked the rhinoceros to themes of chastity and the Virgin Mary. However, he also used it as an obvious phallic symbol in this painting here, which is called Young Virgin Autosodomized by the Horns of Her Own Chastity, which is so sick. It says he had a lifelong interest in science, so-called, which was reflected in his work. It says the soft watches have been interpreted as a reference to Einstein's theory of relativity of time and space. Images of atomic particles appeared in his work after the 
atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and strands of DNA appeared in the 1950s. He was into quantum physics, psychology, and into Sigmund Freud, of course. And the ele elephant is also a, a recurring theme in his work, and the elephants, they say, were inspired by Gian Lorenzo Bernini's sculpture based in Rome of an elephant carrying an ancient obelisk. And here it is outside of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva, which is in Rome. And I've been there. And it's a Catholic church now, they say, but they say that it's built on top of the foundations of a temple dedicated to the Egyptian goddess Isis, which had previously erroneously been ascribed to the Greco-Roman goddess Minerva, which is why they named it. So for Minerva over Minerva. But it's the same one in the Orsini Monster Park <clears throat> that inspired him. And it's in a lot of his paintings, those, uh, those elephants. Let's see, he was a granted audience with a couple of popes, Pope Pius in 1949 and Pope John in 1959. And let's see, he was a sexual deviant, which they say had a profound influence on his work. This one is called The Masturbator, The Great Masturbator. Uh, I think this one is Metamorphosis of Narcissus. This one is Leda Atomica, which is a goddess of some sort. And here's one that is a crucifixion with a checkered floor, sacred geometry and cubism. And here's one which is a sacrament of the Last Supper with sacred geometry in there. And that looks like a female in place of Jesus. So there's another example of these elites and their knights who are working for the enemy. And uh, they're not impressive. Thanks for listening.